Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's quite difficult to to film and, and, and not sort of plan anything. Um, so basically, what you're seeing is 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 just me winging it. So I thought I'd uh, offer some advice, really, as well I've learned over the last. 13, 14 plus years. My first thing, as I mentioned before, is just talk to people. 100% talk to people. You will come across people that don't understand, uh, that offer help, but are misguided. But just along the way, you will find people that do understand and it's worth it, believe me. At first, when I was first uh, diagnosed with depression and what have you, I was really against talking to anybody. But in, in the end, it became one of the, the best things I did. I mean, I flicking between all the different types of therapy, well, therapy sessions and things, I got fed up of repeating my story. Uh, but you sort of have to, so they're not just reading it, they're actually hearing it and, 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 and you're putting across exactly what you struggle with. But just talk to anybody, it doesn't have to be a therapist, it can be a friend, family member, you know, feel free to comment in after this video and, and, and you know, happily talk back it's it can feel quite lonely at times yet so many people suffer it's, you know like the old say you can feel lonely in a crowded room and it's true um, but you you aren't alone I'm not alone you know there are people there that want to help uh, want to listen want to be there for you so just talk. The um, second thing would be to not fear a label. Don't fear being labelled with X, Y, Z, you know, bipolar, OCD, anything. Don't fear it. Use it as a tool. Use, use it so you can learn. The more you know about your label, you know, you could say, you know, learning about your enemy uh, the more you learn about that label the better it is for yourself the more you can sort of pick apart at it and understand why it affects you and in what ways there's nothing bad about being labelled it's as I say it's a help more than anything um, you come across some uh, professionals that don't want to put labels on people which is is their way of doing things but as somebody that's gone through it um, and going through it a label helped massively it gave, it gave me answers to things you know it didn't fix the problem but it gave me answers to try and fix the problem and help along the way so don't fear a label at all you know use it to your advantage use it as part of your toolkit um, and thirdly uh, medication I mean I've touched on it in, a, in a, a previous video but I was really against taking anything I thought it was weak um, I thought you know I don't want to be on medication for my whole life now I'm like bring them here I mean if it helps why knock it you know if if you are prescribed a medication and it helps you don't be in a rush to come off them make sure you work through a lot of what your struggles are before you even consider it always speak to your doctors get their advice don't just stop never just stop that's what i found out you know you can never just stop a medication but no, um, 
my three main bits of advice. Talk to anybody. Talk to anybody. And two, don't fear a label. Do not fear it, honestly. It doesn't define you as a person at all. So don't. And thirdly, medication. Let it be your friend. Don't fight against it. Don't even worry about it. I mean, it, oh, here's my my pill box, which I'll talk through in another episode. <laughs> so uh, I'll I'll leave it at that. But as I always say, please talk. Please talk to somebody. Okay. Thank you for watching. Take care.